let's talk about uh, language, okay? Well, I'm here in the UK. I, I have to tell you that, as a matter of fact, I can remember one day we had, I've been, I did a seminar in, over in the western side of Manchester. And afterwards, Alice and I had stopped by in a McDonald's. And we're sitting there. And I heard a voice behind me that I instantly recognized as American. Right. It, is, it is very, very obvious that, you know, when you hear an American accent here, I instantly recognize it. Mm -hmm. And by the same token, you know, when we're in Orlando, Florida, based there, and I hear where there are, which is such a tourist destination, as I'm sure you know, and, and I hear, well, for British people and others, yeah. when I hear a British voice, I can tell that instantly. I can tell from the accent, from the intonation, from the vocabulary, all right? I can tell. You know somebody. You know somebody by the way they speak. Yes. I often hear, I've told people that as I prepare to teach or preach, I say, listen, you, you got to give me some grace. I don't speak English. I only speak American. I'm learning to speak English. And the fact is, I am. I'm, I'm learning the, because of the vocabulary. It's very yes, it's very different. I, it is. It's a very different language. However, if I try, I can use the vocabulary, which is all right. People understand that. But I don't try and sound British, right. quite frankly. Or you don't try to do the accent. Oi, mate. <laughs> because if I do that, people it think I'm this silly. It sounds, it sounds silly. It sounds yeah. foolish. And people will laugh at me. Oh. What happens when you think that, uh, that children of God try and speak like worldly people? How foolish that looks to God. Mm. Just, just a thought. Mm. The Lord would be the one, if you did that, who would come to tell you right off the bat just how foolish you would be looking. Right. You have to speak the kingdom language. It says in Philippians 3.20, Paul wrote and said, For our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, the word that's translated there in the New American Standard, which I'm using, and most other English languages as, as citizenship, is translated in the King James as conversation. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the reason for that is 400 years ago, it was a good thing that people knew that you could tell somebody from the kingdom of God by the way they spoke. Yeah. Okay? On the night that Jesus was taken, right, his prophecy was fulfilled as Peter sat in the courtyard and denied that he had been with the Lord. And then a second time when he's challenged by, by people, right, he again denies Jesus. And he denies Jesus twice then until finally, it says in Matthew 26, 73, a little later, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them, for even the way you talk gives you away. The way we talk should give us away. People should hear the way we talk and know that we are citizens of the kingdom of God. Why? What's, what's the language of the kingdom of God? Well, you know, Paul wrote in Ephesians, Ephesians 4.29, and said, Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good for edification, according to the need of the moment, so that it will great, give grace to those who hear. And Peter, this very same Peter who had denied Jesus, and now is walking in the power of the Spirit, said, Whoever speaks is to do so as one who is speaking the utterances of God. We don't have freedom of speech. No. We are ambassadors for Jesus Christ. That's what the Word of God says, right? We represent the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that's 27, 27? How many days? How many? It's 24 hours in a day, right? Right. Seven days in a week. That's right. That's 24 7. Okay. <laughs> Even Jesus was restricted to that, which is why he said in John chapter 12, he said, For I did not speak on my own initiative. But the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. There is a kingdom language. It is called speaking the truth in love. Who do you say I am? 
And will you follow me? Who do you say I am? And will you follow me? Messiah, Messiah. Now that I know you are Messiah